So in this video I'm going to be reviewing the book Kawaii Crochet by Melissa Bradley. So for those of you not in the know, kawaii is a Japanese word which means cute. So this is a book of cute crochet and as you will see throughout the book there are lots of little crochet items and they all have little eyes and they look ever so sweet. So let's have a little delve into the book. So the book has 40 super cute crochet patterns and they're all amigurumi. It's split up into different colours. So you have red items, green items, blue items. And she introduces all the different tools that you'll need. Most of them are the standard tools that you would have as a crocheter. Um, but there are extra things like you might want um, pipe cleaners, you might need a hot glue gun, uh, safety eyes you might not have, uh, and wooden skewers, which she uses to help sort of spread out the uh, stuffing within the toys. There's a little section on colour theory with her colour wheel. And then she delves straight into all the different colours of the rainbow. So I first discovered this book when I decided I wanted to make a Christmas tree for my kitchen. Every other room in my house was decorated and the kitchen wasn't. And I seemed to spend quite a bit of time on Christmas Day in the kitchen. So why not decorate it? So I decided to make my own pigs in blankets. I made Christmas puddings and I made carrots. And I thought, oh, I want to make some Brussels sprouts. And I thought, well, I'll have a look and see if someone's already done a pattern. You know what it's like coming up to Christmas. There wasn't enough time to sit and write the pattern out. So I found this book and I found these Brussels sprouts, which were absolutely cute and amazing. And they look great on the Christmas tree. I decided I wanted to add a few more elements to my Christmas tree. Now I think I've made these a little too large to go on the tree so they may well sit at the bottom of the tree and I might make some smaller ones to actually go on the tree this year. Um, but these little peas in a pod are just too cute not to use somewhere around this Christmas tree. So as I made this really cute little pencil now I had an idea when I was going through these that quite a lot of the patterns in here could be used to make little key rings because they're all maybe a couple of inches tall which is sort of the perfect size to be a key ring. You know, you just add a little jump ring on, a little bit of chain and then the key ring part and actually that would be quite sweet. You can make them in all the colours. So if you wanted, I know lots of children like to put these on their school bags so they could have lots of different things, they could have different fruits, or you could make a bowl of fruit. You could make a summer tree and have different ice creams and popsicles and things in lots of different colours. So in the back of the book then she talks about different techniques and how you can modify the designs so you can change the weight of your yarn to change how things look. I quite like to use uh, cotton when I'm making aragurumi because I just like the way you can see all the stitches. I find if I use something like an acrylic yarn or something that's got more of a, a fluffy texture to it, you lose some of the definition. But it really does depend on what you're, you're trying to achieve. So I have this book down in my Amazon store under crochet books. I'll pop a link in the description below for you to have a look at. It is an affiliate link, which means I get a small commission for recommending it, but I do not recommend books that I've never used, and I do not recommend things that I've not enjoyed using. So if you'd like to use that affiliate link, that would be brilliant. I get a few extra pennies and it doesn't cost you any extra. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, do so for lots more crochet ideas and news and patterns and stitch tutorials. I will see you on one of the two videos on screen on the side and happy hooking.